I used to find the dark really scary. I mean, I still do find the dark really scary, but I'm learning. Some of the most beautiful views are at night. Leaning into that, it just opens the door to a, a whole new world. Northern lights are terrifying to start with watercolor. So that's why I'm starting with a pen. Just gives me a loose outline, just something to work off of. These mountains are gonna be mostly covered up, so it's not too much stress or pressure, just a general coloring book. I'll be using a few bright yellows and greens to make the northern lights, but it's the dark color that will really make them stand out. It is really easy to try to kind of control the paint, but the water is gonna be your biggest tool in this. To start, I just kind of wet the page, really get everything flowy, and then just toss on a little bit of yellow, maybe a tiny bit of green, just to get stuff flowing. Going light at this point is totally fine. We want stuff to mix and blend and flow all over the place. Now once we just have a hint of the Northern Lights, that's when you start painting in the night around it. And that's what's gonna make them so bright and vivid. It's these dark blues and purples and indigos. So I start with just with a little bit of purple and then I'll add some blue and then kind of work my way darker, really letting that top edge just flow as it just kind of goes right up into the atmosphere. Once the bottom edge is a little bit more dry, I'll paint in those dark night shades kind of making that sail effect as it's a little bit more crisp on the bottom edge. The more loose this gets, the better. There really are no crisp edges in the night sky. There's usually one, and it's the horizon. So I'm working quickly to make sure that everything stays wet so that that water does what it's supposed to and just blends everything. Once the horizon is a little bit drier, I'll paint in the edge of those mountains, making sure everything stays crisp it's one of the only hard edges you'll see in a night landscape. I'm also just gonna add a few details like the path or the tripod that they use in the Iditarod for navigation, just to give a little bit of scale for that huge sky. One of the final steps I'll use is just a little bit of a gel pen, just to add a few of those stars. And there's uncountable numbers, but all it takes is a few to really give a sense of that night sky. Mask works well too, but gel pens are just so easy. I love it. Finally, I'm just going to add a bit of a galaxy by flicking some of this white gouache. It just makes a spatter, which is kind of what the Milky Way looks like. It's uncontrolled. It's never going to be perfect. But it kind of opens the door to this just big, bright, messy night northern lights. It just makes me want to keep on exploring. I'm still scared of the dark, but now, when I go out, I spend a whole lot less time looking behind me, and a whole lot more time looking up. Which leads to a lot of tripping, but it's, it's a trade-off. <laughs>